Two Youngsville families want to share their stories after years of nightmares in what was supposed to be their dream homes. And now their stories will be told in the courtroom now that a class action suit for damages has been filed. Here's more in tonight's Dial Dalford investigation. Justin Pollock, his wife Anna, and their four children moved down south from Boston for his job and have lived in their Youngsville home since 2013. But it wasn't long before what was once their dream home quickly became a nightmare. Right away when we bought the home, we started having warranty issues with the house, mostly with windows leaking and moisture and humidity problems in the house. Same goes for Carissa Harrison and her family. They've had to come in. They'd have to change the ductwork repeatedly because it was leaking condensation. They would they replaced plenum after plenum. They came in, they added a dehumidifier. Um, they would come in and they would put this glue and then all of a sudden this glue or mud, whatever they used, would just start dripping down like sweat and water. That was Carissa Harrison back in March of 2021. She and her family have since relocated out of state, but they drove back to show us the problem still hasn't been repaired more than a year later. We've filed warranty claims over and over and over, and continuously they would come in and try to fix the issue, but it's been nothing but Band-Aids. Both the Pollocks and the Harrisons lived in the same neighborhood in D.R. Horton built homes, along with subcontractor Bell Mechanical. While the companies have come out and made several repairs, the homeowners say the issues seem to be never-ending. In the fall of 2016, they replaced that pair of windows and took it upon themselves to also replace our foyer window. And on New Year's Eve of 16 going into 17, we had water leaking so bad out of the foyer window that wasn't leaking in the first place that it was behind the paint and it was also coming out from the inside of the light switches to the point where it scared us enough that we had to go s turn off the circuit breakers in the house because it became a fire hazard and everything was arcing inside of it. The Pollock's daughter, Rachel, also developed asthma due to the mold growth. Her doctor connected the asthma to the exposure to aspergillus. An air quality and mold test of the home reveal an exact match between her disease and the mold growing inside the house. For the first six months or so, she was had to be on a nebulizer three times a day, uh, having breathing problems. Yeah, all we, we had right. to move out and go to a hotel for two months. A few doors down the road at the Harrisons in October of 2020, Carissa was learning a huge reason they had experienced so many problems with their brand new homes. The telephone recording between me and um, Leslie, which is uh, with DR Horton. Are y'all not building this same house anymore, or like this should have been installed from day one? Like, and then it's not. No, it, it, it has nothing to do with us. I'll tell you what it is it's the code that we have to build to. We build to the federal mandate code. And, and we're regulated by federal law. We built to that code. That code was not designed for very humid markets. And the man who wrote that law even said that it's not designed for very humid markets. But we still have to adhere to what the rest of the country it, it has been mandated to do. That phone call is now a key piece of evidence in the latest development. A 36-page class action lawsuit filed on behalf of a Lafayette Parish couple and an unknown number of other homeowners who now find themselves in a similar situation after purchasing a home built in South Louisiana by D.R. Horton. Okay. Ten attorneys are handling the case. One of them, Lance Bill, says the ultimate goal is to ensure these hard-working middle-class families get justice for not receiving the product that they were promised when the home was purchased. It's about holding D.R. Horton accountable for their actions and inactions. Now, since the suit was filed in early March, hundreds of people who own D.R. Horton homes have already called to join the class action suit as of tonight. Email requests for comment from D.R. Horton have gone unanswered. If there's an ongoing issue in your neighborhood or community, or there's a story you would like me to investigate, send me an email at dialdalfred at klfy.com.